Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how much meat you can cook in the Instant Pot Duo Nova 8 quart. There aren't many recipes for the 8 quart size, so I figured I'd give you one. If you want to see other recipes I've done with the 8 quart, like a whole chicken and rice, I'll put the links to those videos right below this one. I'm going to show you how to make lamb curry today. You can of course substitute whatever other kind of meat you want and make a stew. This is just really to show you how much meat can fit in this eight quart size. Here are all the whole spices I'm gonna use. There's cinnamon sticks, cloves, coriander, fennel, black peppercorns, cardamom. I'm gonna grind all of the whole spices in a coffee grinder. I'll do it in two batches, I don't wanna overfill it. This grinder I save just to grind spices, I don't use it for coffee. It's always best to grind whole spices for curry. Tastes much better. That took just two minutes. I've chopped up a lot of yellow onion, a ton of chopped garlic and chopped ginger. And we definitely need all that ginger, garlic and onions because we have eight pounds of lamb. I've cleaned the lamb, cut it up and removed most of the fat. There's some boneless pieces and some pieces with the bone in. I used leg of lamb. Here's the eight quart in some pot Duo Nova. As you can see, it is very big. We'll use the saute function first. It's on normal setting. If you press saute again, it'll go to more. And I'm gonna leave it on more for now because I do want the pot very hot. So now the pot's gonna heat up. If your pot gets too hot, you can always reduce the setting to normal or less. When hot is displayed, that means we can start sauteing. It'll take just a couple of minutes. Pour in some vegetable oil. Add the onions, ginger and garlic, salt. Stir it every few minutes. After six minutes, everything will be soft and you'll have to stir more often, otherwise the onions could stick to the bottom of the pot. I'm gonna leave the setting on more, but if you need to, just turn it down to normal. This is exactly how I would saute onion, ginger, and garlic in a pot on the stove. And the time it's taking to saute in this instant pot is about the same time as it would on the stove. It's been 10 minutes, and I notice the onions are starting to stick a little bit more to the bottom of the pot, so I'm gonna turn the setting to normal. Saute until the onions, garlic, and ginger are very soft. After 20 minutes, you can see the onions have cooked down a lot. I have a large amount of onions in here, so it's gonna be very difficult to get a golden brown. Of course, you could do it in two batches, but I'm not gonna do that. You can see it's getting brown on the bottom. And the setting is still on normal, so it's a good time to add all the spices and the meat. Otherwise, you have to constantly stir, and um, that would just be too much work. I'm gonna add my ground spices and turn the setting to less. I don't wanna burn the spices. Ground turmeric, chili powder, star anise. Stir this on the last setting for about a minute until the raw taste of the spices go away. Everything comes off the bottom of the pan. You can see nothing is burnt because we changed the um, setting to less. And now I'll add the meat. This is the two third line so we have enough space to put the water. With this eight quart you need at least two cups of water. Pour it in the two cups and you can see there's still room about an inch up to the two thirds. I'm adding one more cup of water. There is a lot of meat and although the meat will give off its own liquid, I didn't add um, anything else like tomatoes or any other type of liquid. There's still about a half inch space up to the max line. Remember, it's always better to add a little bit more water rather than less because you don't wanna 
risk um, your entire pot burning. After pressure cooking, if you have too much liquid, you can always turn on the saute function and reduce some of that. Lock the lid. I'm gonna use meat stew, 35 minutes, normal setting and high pressure. Now the unit's gonna come up to pressure and then it'll start counting down from the 35 minutes. With this Duo Nova model, when you close the lid, it automatically seals the pressure valve. With the older models, you had to manually turn it to sealing before you turn the unit on, and that's easy to forget. All you have to do with this model is close the lid and that's it. It's been just a few minutes and I can already hear the meat bubbling away in there. After almost 10 minutes, the display turned to 35, so the timer was gonna start counting down, but then I see this food burn displayed, so I'll have to open the lid and probably add more liquid. I'll press cancel and make sure keep warm is off. I'll press down to release any pressure. There's no pressure so we can open the lid. I don't feel anything sticking to the bottom. I don't think anything's burnt. There's no burning smell. Feels fine on the bottom. I think I'm just gonna add another cup of water and um, turn the unit back on. I know some people have commented in the past about after using the saute button, they will see the food burn displayed once they start pressure cooking. That's another cup for a total of four cups of water. When the temperature inside the inner pot's too high, the temperature sensor will trigger the overheat protection. And then you'll see the displayed message of food burn. It doesn't mean your food is burnt, it just means that the instant pot needs to cool down a little bit. Generally, the problem is not enough liquid. Also, when you use the saute function, some bits of food can stick to the bottom and that can also trigger the overheat protection. So it's a combination of using the saute function and also the huge quantity of meat and maybe not enough liquid. It's been a few minutes. You can see this is very, very thick because we had all those onions sauteed. I'll put the lid back on and continue cooking. Press meats too. The display turned to 35 and I got the food burn sign again. So I think that's the end of my eight pound uh, lamb being cooked in this instant pot. Gonna hit cancel. Oh wait, the timer's counting down now. So I guess it's fine. Wonderful, now I don't have to dump everything into a regular pot and cook it on the stove. It's still counting down. It's redeemed itself. All the instant pot lovers out there are happy right now. So it made it through the whole cycle. I'm gonna hit cancel. I'll do a quick release by pressing the quick release button down. Float valve drop down, now we can open the lid. The meat's cooked nicely. You can see the bone is almost coming off from the meat. All I can say is I'm really happy I don't have to put this in a pot and cook it for two hours. Even this giant bone with a little bit of meat on it, you can see the meat is cooked. It's soft, it's tasty. The maximum amount of lamb I've made um, in an Instant Pot is three pounds, and that took 30 minutes. This took 35 minutes and it's perfect. It would have been done in 30 minutes if I had set it for 30 minutes. The amount of time it takes to cook something will be the same 
um, across all size and thin pots. So if I was gonna make three pounds of meat in the six quart model and it took 30 minutes, it'll take the same 30 minutes in this eight quart model. The only difference is the amount of time it takes to come up to pressure and the amount of time that um, the pressure will be released in. So you can see the gravy is a little bit thin because we added so much water. It needed the water to come up to pressure. I'm gonna turn the saute function on, leave it on more, and just reduce some of the liquid. Within a minute or two, it'll start boiling. Now, if you don't wanna reduce the liquid, you can always add a little bit of coconut milk or a little half and half to thicken it up a little bit. Don't reduce it too much. You do need a good amount of liquid in here because there is a lot of meat, especially if you're gonna serve this over rice. I don't like the gravy too thick. Also, when this cools down, it naturally gets a little bit thicker. Because I have it on the more setting, it's boiling a lot, and since the pot is pretty full, uh, you don't want to get splattered. So you could turn the setting down to less, or normal. So you saw that you can make eight pounds of meat in this eight quart instant pot. I don't think I would have got the food burn alert if I had just put in the meat, some tomatoes, liquid, spices, etc., without sauteing all the onions because the onions really um, thicken the whole thing up. As the curry sits, it'll get thicker. This is after a couple of hours. You see the gravy is the perfect consistency. So you don't have to reduce the liquid too much with the saute function. As always, I hope this video was useful and helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more reviews. I'll see you next time.